Hello, you feisty fishermen. Steve the Gent here, and today marks the first day for the Festival of Fishing. This festival is sponsored by the Hunter's Call and offers a number of fishing rod cosmetics for completion. Selling cooked fish can also be very profitable and should offer some good money on top of the rewards. The first challenge available to us is a platter of plenty, and today we'll be covering the first four tasks to get you started. First up is Catch Me If You Can. You'll need to deliver 10 plenty fins of any variety to the hunter's call. Second, it was this big. Deliver three trophy plenty fins of any variety. Third, a fresh start. Deliver 10 pondies of any varieties. And finally, pond life. Deliver three trophy pondies of any type to the hunter's call. So let's start with plenty fins. These guys can be found anywhere on the shores of plenty and are caught using earthworms as bait. Earthworms can be dug up at any grassy area, and they can also be found in barrels, so make sure to stock up at your starting outpost. One thing to keep in mind is splash tails. Splash tails are everywhere through the Sea of Thieves, and they'll go after any bait. So if you're running low on earthworms and see a splash tail coming, cancel your cast to pull your line out of the water. This will save your bait and allow you to try again. Moving on to pondies. These are Sea of Thieves freshwater fish, and they're located in, you guessed it, the ponds found on some islands. There are three ponds in the shores of Plenty, and they are as follows. First up is Crescent Isle, located at B9. There's Mermaid's Hideaway on B13, and Hidden Spring Keep at I8. Pondies don't require bait and are pretty quick to catch. I found that the pond on Crescent Isle was a little finicky to fish out of, uh, so I completed the task at Mermaid's Hideaway. You can fish from a rock, and it will also keep you away from any skeletons, so it makes things easy. One last thing to keep in mind is shipwrecks. You can find random cooked fish in the barrels, so they're always worth checking out if you pass any on your travels. A quick point about the value of these fish. Excluding the rare species, the typical range of a cooked pondy is between 115 and 340 gold coins. For trophies, the range is 285 to 850. This means your rough average per cooked fish is 226 for regular and 566 for trophies. For plenty fins, again excluding the rare species, they range from 340 to 565 and trophies between 850 and 1410. This puts your rough averages at 451 and 1,127 for trophies. So in total, after trading in 20 regular fish and six trophies, your profit should be about 14,000 gold coins, including the completion bonuses. Obviously, if you're lucky enough to catch a couple of rare fish, this number is gonna go up substantially. And that's it for part one. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this video helped you. Part two will be out shortly, so keep an eye out for that. And as always, if you have any suggestions for future videos, please hit the comment section. Until next time, remember, a good fisherman knows all the angles. Fish button.